Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So we're doing a day in the life today, but like combining it with some Christmas baking. I'm gonna be sharing a couple of recipes with you guys in today's video. And it's like, I'm not a huge like sweets person, I'm more like a sweet and savory. So I do like snowball cookies is one of my favorites. And then we did like a Christmas crack this year, which I think is gonna be so good. And it has like a saltine cracker base. So yummy. Um, so you kind of get that like savory taste in there. But anyways, it has been mass chaos this morning. We like cleaned um, like the entire house. We got everything back in order. I feel like as soon as I get one part of my house clean, there's another part of the house that's just destroyed. Kaya is mopping right now and is creating even more of a mess. It's just, it's just never ending. Anyway, we've been playing Christmas movies all afternoon, Christmas baking, doing all of the things. Hi, what, what are you, are you cleaning? Maybe not so much. Meanwhile, Riker is over here playing with a cat toy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, it is. Okay, so um, to th like earlier today, I ordered a new rug. I put a rug pad underneath the rug today because it just gets like it's just like on the hardwood floor, and this is where the kids play the most. So I put a rug pad underneath it, but my poor rug. I don't know if you guys can see this, but like this is like to the bottom. It is bald, completely bald, and that is from like. Do oh. oh my goodness, what another bath. Oh my gosh, buddy. What did you do? Did you get your hot chocolate all over your face? Riker John, did you get hot chocolate all over, all over your face? Oh my goodness. All right, so it's clearly bath night now, even though we just had a bath last night. Yeah, it is gonna be bath night again. The rug is destroyed like that because every time, oh my goodness. You are crazy. Every time we like clean the carpet, it, <laughs> it's rotating kids. Um, every time we clean the carpet, it like pulls up hair and the dogs have just like chewed holes on the rug. It's just thank you all the animals and children for stains and destroying things. Hi. Oh my goodness, we need to address this um, hot chocolate face situation. Oh goodness. Anyway, I have a new rug coming in next week and I'm super excited because I think it's gonna match so nice. I got another wool rug, just a little hint. Um, I'm contemplating on whether or not I'm gonna like preview it on Pinterest, but on Pinterest, whether or not I'm going to preview it on Instagram, I can't decide yet, but anywho. Mwah. All right, I need to wash your face. What did you do? Yeah, I don't. Ah, you are insane. <gasps> Now the cat's in the Christmas tree. Okay, all right. All right, you guys, so I am sharing two Christmas baking recipes with you guys today. These are two of Mike and I's favorites. I'm not like a huge sweets person, but I'm definitely sweet and savory, like I said. So I love the Christmas snowball cookies. They're also called Mexican wedding cakes. Um, I use my grandma's recipe, which is so good. These little cookies just melt in your mouth. Mike, of course, like always makes such a huge mess in the kitchen, but I was really grateful to have him have like a little bit of family time with us today. You guys never get to see him in my videos and it's always because he's working. He's either in the shop or he is at his like regular, like I wouldn't call it an eight to five job because he works 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. But he's just always working. So it was nice to have a little bit of family time with him. And like I said, we we're doing a family recipe first off. So what you're going to need is a cup of soft butter, two thirds cups of sifted powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, two cups of flour, a quarter to a half teaspoon of salt, um, and then three quarter cups of pecans, finely chopped. Mike even likes to like make the pecans into like almost like a dust, so it's barely like noticeable, but just gives it a nutty flavor. You guys can totally skip the uh, pecans if you don't want nuts in there or you have an intolerance to them, you're allergic, whatever it may be, you guys can totally skip the nuts. But we decided to include them 
Now I'm trying to find a more keto version to this recipe, possibly with like an almond flour or coconut flour with some kind of powdered sugar substitute. Um, this was my cheat meal that I chose for this weekend. I have one cheat meal a week where I have like maybe like the meal with a dessert and that'll be my cheat meal um, and it did not affect my weight loss whatsoever I didn't gain any weight back and I swear you guys I can like look at a cookie and gain five pounds It's just the way my body works. So anyway, um, what you're going to do is you're going to cream the sugar and the butter together along with the vanilla and then you're going to mix together all of your dry ingredients and the nuts if you so choose to put the nuts in there and then you'll slowly mix in the flour mixture um, into to the creamed butter powdered sugar mixture and then you're going to roll the dough into about one inch balls and then I cook these at 375 for about 11 to 12 minutes um, and I do not let them get brown that is kind of the key with these is you do not want to brown them you want them to be set but you don't want them to be brown so Anyways, um, then after they are done, I will put them over on a cooling rack. Once they are completely cooled, then I will roll them in powdered sugar and then they are set to go. So in between recipes here, I am sharing one of my most favorite like keto desserts that I keep in the house for myself and the kids. I just do sugar-free strawberry jello. Usually I buy the cups, but they were completely out at Target when I went last week. So I grabbed a few boxes of the sugar-free jello mix and made it myself at home. And I'm just doing this in like a baking dish and I do like according to the directions, I just do like the two cups of boiling water, mix in the stuff and then I do the cold water and I stick it in the fridge and it's such a nice like like keto dessert like if I'm just craving something sweet which like I said I'm not really a huge sweets person but for some reason when I'm on keto once you cut out the sugar out of your diet you tend to crave it more um, even though I don't feel like I ever really had sugar in my diet I definitely did because sugar is hidden in everything and look at me I'm I make such a mess of myself every time I got jello on my sweatshirt so I'm trying to get it out but here is where I'm showing you guys the rolling of the like snowball cookies into the powdered sugar. I just have my powdered sugar in a bag. It's easier this way. It's, I don't want to say it's less messy, but it is a little bit less messy if I um, roll them in the powdered sugar bag versus <laughs> trying to um, put it in like sifting the powdered sugar like into a bowl and it just it dirties more things up. So this way it's a little bit easier, um, but these again are like melt in your mouth cookies. They are so good good they're my favorite they're one of Mike's favorites as well so that is why we chose to do this recipe first and we did a double batch here um, just in case you are like trying to gauge how much a batch would make you um, this is two batches worth of cookies and here we are trying them and this is what the inside looks like just like that dusting of pecans inside it is so good there's a reason why I always gravitate towards these during the holiday season Next up on the recipe list today is going to be Christmas crack. Um, usually you're gonna want some kind of like silicone mat or parchment paper on the bottom. I did not have parchment paper, so I just made sure that I greased my pan really, really well because you don't want it to stick. You can even use Crisco. Um, anyway, so I'm just aligning the pan with saltine crackers um, and then spacing them equally. And this recipe is so, so easy. All you need to do is, if you're gonna be doing a bigger pan like I am, I'm doing it like an, it's like a nine by 13 ish pan. And then you're gonna stick that in the oven at about 400 degrees for five minutes. Make sure you watch this. You don't want that like caramel. You don't want the caramel, the caramel -y mix, whatever to get too dark brown. Otherwise it's gonna taste burnt and gross. Um, and then I added two cups of chocolate chips to the top. I mixed chocolate chips just because I only had about a cup and a half of the Nestle Toll House um, chocolate chips. And then these are just like mini chocolate morsels that I got from Aldi. And then once that melts, you are going to spread that. I let the chocolate chips sit on there for about five minutes. This is so rich. It is definitely 
definitely like I can only have a teeny tiny piece of it and I'm good to go kind of like dessert, but it is so, so good. I sent a ton with Mike this morning to his office and they said that this was by far their favorite. Um, and then after you are done melting the chocolate chips and spreading it out, you'll stick it in the fridge for two hours. And then I used a pizza cutter to um, cut it up into little squares. You can even wrap like cute little yarn around them and do like little Christmas, Christmas bells or something like that on the top. Make it super festive, hand it out to your neighbors or um, hand it out to family members. It Terrible. All right, so I just went through the Starbucks drive through I have had a heck of a morning, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, I got the egg white and red pepper bites. It's 11 o'clock, I'm breaking my fast. And um, I just put sriracha on top. I use the Starbucks sriracha, it's so good. Um, all right, it is Monday. It is like totally a Monday. All right, so this morning I was officially down 12 pounds, which I was also down 12 pounds Friday morning. But, um, like since I've started keto, but, um, I did have my cheat meal yesterday, which was amazing. It was just chicken walled rice soup. Um, and then I had like three cookies because we did some Christmas baking yesterday and I wanted to taste test them and I still had less than 1800 calories total. My anxiety is like up to here today. Crabby kids makes for an anxious mama. Okay. Let's go home. Okay, I'm sitting in the car wash. <laughs> I should probably vacuum. I've tried to record this clip three times for you guys. Okay, so I left Starbucks. Riker calmed down as soon as we went through the car wash lane. And I think the car wash guy is getting mad at me because <laughs> I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes. Like the baby's not crying, so I'm very happy. Anyways, okay. I am going to vacuum out my vehicle. I'm going to clean everything out. I've got garbage in here. Just the things need to be done, so. Let's go into it. <laughs> also, can we appreciate how like mom of an outfit this is? Hang on. I need to like set you guys up where you can really see me. Check out those hats. Okay, I'm going to clean now. <laughs> Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swing in Buddy, let's go upstairs and eat those Okay, so I just got back home. There must be something in the air because I'm in like a weird mood. Mike is in a mood. Okay, anyway, it is just a day. It's just a day. And I like to keep things like motivational for the most part for you guys, but I also want to keep it super raw and real and transparent. So my life is not perfect. I'm having like at least once a week I have a higher anxiety day where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to sit down and like take a breath. All right, so like I said, I usually like to keep it like motivational for you guys. Oh crap. But I also like to keep it real. So I don't wanna be like, life is perfect. You got this, let's do it. You do got this. But sometimes it's okay to say that you're just having a sucky day. I'm totally fine, especially on a Monday. Mondays are just blah. Anyway, Mike was in a mood. I love him, but he was in a mood. He was like, I was in a mood, he was in a mood. It wasn't a good combo, so I said, I'm going to talk to you later. I love you so much, goodbye. That's how you deal with being in a mood. You just walk the other way. All right, I am so excited for what's in this box. This is all the sagas in our house. Okay, we have the dishwasher saga. Well, now there's been the blinds saga, the bamboo, bl bamboo, bamboo blinds in our dining room. It's been like this whole thing, whole thing. All right, so I got these like reddish wood colored blinds 
in the living room when we first, or in the living room, in the dining room when we first moved in. I thought they were gonna be darker and they came in and they were red. And I was like, oh, that doesn't really match anything. But I'm gonna keep them because I spent 200 bucks on them and I don't wanna pay for the shipping costs back to, I think it was like Overstock is where I bought them from. So then I decided I was gonna paint them black. Okay, actually no, wait, white. I wanted to paint them white. So I did, I painted them white and whitewashed them. I got paint all over the window. Didn't love them. So now, decided, I was texting my friend Kayla and Cash here on YouTube and I was like, she was like, I was like, what do you think? Should I do this? Do I, like, do I do black? Because I was sitting at my dining room table one morning and I was like, oh my gosh, I hate, I hate this area. And Kayla always has like the cutest decor ideas. So I was like, I'm gonna text Kayla and see what she thinks. And then I decided I was gonna paint that window over here black and the same day I painted these blinds black. The window I love. I'm gonna do it to all my windows. I'm obsessed with it now. If you guys haven't seen my reel over on Instagram, it's like the quickest, most easiest, most amazing freaking project ever. I love it, I love it, I love it. And people are always asking me like, oh, like, is the paint chipping off? We don't really open most of our windows in our house. That is the window that we open the most, the one like over in the kitchen. Sorry for the mess, it's like all the things. But um, this right here, um, this is the window that we open the most and it has not scratched at all with the spray paint and then the sealer over the top. But I did paint the blinds as well. I'm like holding this box. Whew. Okay, so I also painted these, okay? It's hard to see because it's like the light coming in right now. All you can see is the outside and my camera wants to focus on that. So anyways, they're black. They are they're just matte black. I hate them. I hate them. I thought I loved it at first. It is better than the white. I will say that, but I'm not in love with them. Anyways, okay, that was a really, really long, boring preface to what's in here. This is the solution, so just hang on. Are you playing with that, Katie? This is not the same color that it was online. So the saga continues. Okay, just kidding. Let's, I'm gonna put, like set it up against the other driftwood things and see if it's bad. Oh. Is that terrible? You definitely can't even tell because it's like too light. Let's see, you can't even tell right now. So I'm gonna have to wait until it is darker outside and then take a peek at it. So anyways, I think I'm just gonna leave them there for now as is. Um, I think that color goes much better in here. And the quality of these blinds is like way better than what I had before. And these are cheaper, so. That is strange, but anyways, I like it. Now the middle support, I do need to like move it over. It's still like fit on the same hardware that I have, but I need to move the middle support over a little bit. So I need to grab the drill and um, just like scoot it over about an inch because it is barely off. I was hoping I would get away with the same hardware and I could just like replace 
um, the, the blinds. So, anyways, that middle support just needs to be moved a teeny, teeny tiny bit. But oh, I wish you guys could see it because it does, it does look better, much better than it did before. And I think I'm gonna love it even more once the shiplap gets put up. So, anyway, all right, I'm gonna take them back down and move the thing and. I'll do all the things but all right guys i am going to end the vlog there for today i hope you enjoyed this like bake with me and hang out with us like on a sunday afternoon but also like a monday day in life all the things and i'm going to be the first person to say that monday suck cat please don't scratch my couch thank you so much um <laughs> mondays are stressful but you can always turn it around like i said just push if you have a bad Monday morning, the best thing to do is to literally forget about it. Forget about it. Take a deep breath, grab a coffee, move on with your day, okay? I had a very, very stressful morning. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna choose to move on and look on the bright side. I'm gonna start some Christmas movies. Okay, okay guys, we'll see you in a couple of days. Say bye. Oh, be, be nice to mom. Oh, be nice. Oh, see, we're just in the mood today. You're a really stinky boy. Okay, say bye, guys. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye, guys. Bye.